Hey, Core Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Um, listen, we've got to get into the Sophie Turner story, how she is suing her estranged husband, Joe Jonas, accusing him of abducting their two children and everything. To be honest with you guys, although I do um, think that Joe was really terrible in the way that he went about this whole divorce and um, his pap strolls and just going to TMZ and trying to portray Sophia some sort of negligent mother and whatnot, I, I still have to say that I don't know how strong of a case Sophie has here for the idea of bringing those kids to England, okay? Because in her filing, she's claiming that she and Joe had made plans to raise those kids in England and everything. Um, in fact, according to Sophie, they sold their Miami home in order to buy a place in England. They actually started a long-term rental with the intention of purchasing the property that she's currently living in, in England and everything like that. And then they had a fight on Joe's birthday and I guess he pulled a plug on it, refused to allow the kids to move over there. Not only is Joe Jonas refusing to allow his kids to move to England, according to Sophie, he is also withholding their passports. And now there are some other things that happened in between the birthday fight and whatnot. Um, Sophie started filming a movie and then Joe started going on tour with his brothers, the Jonas brothers. Um, and, you know, obviously because he does his concerts at night and she films during the day, it made more sense for the kids to be with him because that way they would have a parent to be like more present with them during the day. And then after he was done with that, he was supposed to join her over in the UK and everything. But this is where everything kind of goes wrong. Listen, now let's get into why I don't think that Sophie is going to win this. I don't believe that these children were abducted, to be honest with you, because these are American born and American raised children who have never lived full time in England. Perhaps they visited or vacationed extensively there, um, here and there in their lifetimes. But for all intents and purposes, these are American children. So to me, the idea of claiming that they've been abducted and now you're suing and you're citing all sorts of like child abduction laws and whatnot, it sounds, and I get, right? I get why the desperation. She wants to live in her own country. Um, England appears to be a safer country than the US, right? Um, and just uh, paparazzi is less of an issue there and whatnot. But at the end of the day, Sophie made the decision to marry and have children with an American man in America. So I don't know what, what, what can be done here, right? I, I don't think she's going to win this. And like I said, those kids have always been living um, in the US and everything like that. So even though she and Joe perhaps had conversations about the idea of like raising the kids uh, in, the, in the UK or in England after a certain point or at a certain point, it never actually happened. So I don't think it's fair to claim that these children were abducted from where they're supposed to be living. And I don't think that... Um, She's going to win this, to be honest with you guys. OK, so um, uh, Sophie had a, according to TMZ, Sophie had a lengthy passage in her legal document where she outlines all of the activities in which the kids have engaged in uh, England. No details have been released yet on what those are. Is that schooling? Is that daycare? What, what does that is that horseback riding? What exactly is it, you know, at the end of the day? So one thing that I do find to be really like shady is how although I can understand it from Joe's perspective, is how he's not allowing the kids to go overseas to be with her. Um, but in his defense, like if you have a parent who's insisting on living in another country, all you know, I can't say all of a sudden because apparently this is something they had been discussing for a while um, and you don't want to live there and you don't want your kids to live there. It makes sense that you would not allow that other parent to travel outside of the, your country, your residential country with your children, right? Because this happens all the time where parents um, all of a sudden decide that they no longer want to have kids in a certain country. For example, I'll give you here in France. This happens a lot. Um, throughout divorces or this or that. Like I remember recently hearing a story about um, a French man having a child with a Tunisian woman and the woman ultimately, um, you know, once they separated, she ultimately wound up like fleeing with her kids back to her country and everything like that. So um, I can see why 
he wants to take precautions there because it is risky business. Once those kids are out of the U.S., it becomes a lot tougher for him as an American citizen to get them back. And like I said, these are American children at the end of the day. OK, so um, it kind of is what it is. Um, it's sad and it's disappointing, right, that this is what it's all come to. But this is why you think long and hard before you have kids in a country that is not your own about whether or not you can actually bear the thought of living in that country forever. If the answer is no, maybe it's not a great idea to do that, right? Um, there's another person here as well uh, in France. There are these influencers. They do like reality shows. One of the guys, he's from Belgium and the woman is French, but they decided to have kids in Dubai. And then he no longer enjoyed living in Dubai. So he ultimately moved back to Belgium. And so now he only visits his kid a couple times a year. Um, like he has to fly to the kid or the kid flies to him and stuff. And it's just, it's not ideal. So Think long and hard before you ultimately end up having a child in a specific country. It's very, very sad, you know. And I read in this article, because I don't really keep up with Sophie. I never watched Game of Thrones or anything like that. Um, but I read she's only 27. I'm like, you're 27 going through a divorce, like a hellish divorce with two kids and all this, like an international divorce. Jesus Christ, man. This is so young to be dealing with all of this. Good luck to her. My goodness. I, I'm just overwhelmed on her behalf. I'm older than her, but I can't imagine my 27 year old self having two kids and dealing with a divorce and all these custody issues and whatnot. It is an awful lot, you know? Um, so hopefully she's got like strong people around her who are able to help, you know, hold her up in the midst of all of this, because it cannot be easy, you know, and on top of that, the man is making you look like the ultimate deadbeat in the press and everything, just because he has had to take care of his kids for a whopping month and a half while you work abroad, like the audacity of it all cannot be overstated, right? He's got great eyebrows, but the character, not so much, okay? Guys, what do you think about Sophie's lawsuit that she's filing against Joe Jonas? Um, I feel like a broken record, so I apologize if you've heard me say this a couple of times before, but my brothers are currently in town visiting me, so I'm not able to, that's why like my setup's a little strange. I'm not able to film like at my normal capacity right now until they go. Um, so starting next week, I will be. Um, and one of the things that I really want to tackle next week is this lawsuit between Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner and whether or not Joe Jonas really is technically abducting the children. And if Sophie actually has a chance of having the children be raised in England, and I'm going to have a lawyer on this channel to speak with me about it. Okay. You guys know we've got lawyer friends on this channel who are really great about like, you know, sharing their time with us and like their knowledge and their expertise. So uh, this is way above my pay grade. This is way above my knowledge grade, everything. So I really do need one of them to pop on this channel and share that info with me. So next week when I'm back in like my proper quote unquote studio and whatnot, I will be speaking with a lawyer about this. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that we can get the real legal info on what is going on here and the likelihood of Sophie's lawsuit succeeding and whether or not Joe Jonas truly is abducting his children or if he's just doing the smart thing. Let me tell you this. As much as we all can't stand Joe Jonas right now, be real with yourself and be honest with yourself. If you married and had kids with someone from a different country, and then you guys were disputing about where to raise your children, which country, they insisted on their own, but you have always lived in your own country and your kids have always been raised in your country, would you allow that person to have your children's passport? I don't even have kids and I already know the answer is no. Those passports would be in my mother's attic, okay? So I do think that he's doing the right thing as a father here. All of this is getting settled in the US, okay? It is what it is at the end of the day, but I digress. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.